Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So in the previous video we set up the dependencies and the development environment uh, either using XAMPP or MAMP or WAMP and now it's time to install our Laravel project on the web server. So um, if we first copy this command here just gonna copy that line there. Uh, so we tell Composer to create a new project and it is a Laravel project and the next is the name of the project and it this will also be the name of the directory where we will save the Laravel project in so we can modify this to our needs and then we basically need to go to VS Code start that up there and then we can see that we get the welcome screen here I'm just going to dismiss that and uh, we need a terminal here, so we can go to terminal and new terminal. And I'm using the git bash. And you can also use this with uh, the command prompt in Windows or the terminal in Linux or Mac OS. So first we're going to navigate to the directory where we have uh, XAMPP installed. And we can see from our Explorer window here that we have this on the C drive, XAMPP, HDDocs. And if you are on a Mac, usually it is in the application, and then XAMPP, and then there is a link to the HDDocs. So we will go to the C drive, Oop. and then we will go to XAMPP, and we will go to HDDocs. And we can see if we do an LS that we have the same contents as we had in the web server listing in the browser. So now we are in the directory here and we can, I'm just going to clear the command prompt here and we can right click to get the command that we pasted from the website. So composer create project Laravel Laravel and then let's give it another name. Let's just call it Laravel CRUD. And then composer will start to get the newest version of Laravel. We can see version uh, 857, downloading Laravel and getting all the packages that comes included with Laravel. Depending on the internet speed and the computer speed, this might take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna be back when it's done. All right, so now we can see that Composer has finished installing Laravel, and we can already see here that, depending on how much time it took on your computer, we can see that it has installed quite a few uh, packages along with Laravel. So there is a lot of different dependencies and libraries that comes included with Laravel. And this is also one, ind one indication that points to that it is an opinionated framework, that it comes included with a lot of good libraries that you can use to develop a rather complex web application out of the box here. And of course, you can also install new uh, libraries. Okay, so um, now we have created the project. We can see if we make an LS again, we have Laravel CRUD. So I'm just gonna go to VS Code and open the folder that we just created if we just go to the c drive here and find xamp and hd ducks laravel crud now visual studio code is going to open up the actual framework directory so we can see all the different uh, folders and files that are inside here so we can see that Composer has created a lot of directories right now. We have a lot of different app directory, routes for if we want to make a REST API or something, or basically web routes. We also have database specific um, files in here, migration. Uh, we have all the dependencies in the vendor, uh, the libraries. We also have, if you want to do testing, there's a whole bunch of different uh, folders here that can be used when you develop your web application. And also a lot of files. We got the composer JSON file that keeps track of uh, which libraries have been installed. So that is a file that composer maintains. We also have a package JSON if you're using uh, NPM and, uh, and node packages. One thing to note also is that Laravel comes included with Vue.js, the front end framework. So you can also use that to create a single page application or, or a progressive web application with Laravel. So one thing we need to do, we can see we got a public folder here. And uh, this is where uh, the web server is going to look. And then the rest of the application 
uh, is kind of uh, hidden from the web server. So this should be the entry point of the web server. And if we take a look at what happens if we go back to our server, we can see if we refresh now, we have Laravel CRUD. So if I click on that, we can see the whole directory structure in the web server. So if we click on public, we will have the Laravel front page that indicates that we're running, we can see here down in the bottom right here, we're running Laravel 8 and also the PHP version. So now we've actually installed the Laravel framework in its initial state. So now we can start developing uh, the application to suit our needs to have this uh, CRUD application. And there's a whole bunch of things we need to do in the next video. So uh, I think I'm going to stop the video uh, right now here so it doesn't get too long but we can see that we have an env file that we need to set up we need to set up the database we need to set up some other things and we can also see in the resources we have the views where we have the uh, welcome play that is actually this website here or this web page here okay but in the next video we will continue on creating our crud uh, laravel web application all right hope you make this work and have fun with this bye bye